She Did It, 21 Women Who Changed the Way We Think is a new book that profiles a diverse range of women. Their experiences are still relevant today, especially for girls and young women. Award-winning author Emily Arnold McCulley joins us today with more. So thank you for being here. What inspired you to write She Did It? Well, I'm really inspired by what we're seeing all around us today. I think we're in a third wave of feminism. So I wanted young people to understand what came before them. Uh, there was the second wave in the 60s and 70s, which is a chapter in the book uh, on its own. The first wave, which was the sub, uh, suffrage movement. And those, those actions uh, by women who lived in the 20th century in America at a time when women were not supposed to have positions of leadership or power anywhere, overcame those barriers and laid the foundation for what's happening today and carrying us much closer than ever before to real equality for women. So who are some of the women that you profiled? Well, it starts with uh, Jane Addams and Ida M. Tarbell. Jane Addams was a social worker who, who helped immigrants. She founded a settlement house and eventually won the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, Ida Tarbell was an investigative reporter, one of the, the muckrakers, um, and she changed the way journalism functioned in, in our society. It's, it's crucial, as we know. Rachel Carson ignited the environmental movement. Um, we have Alice Waters, who's still alive, who changed the way we eat and started the farm-to-table restaurants and the edible schoolyard, uh, where children grow, harvest, cook, and eat their lunches. Mm -hmm. Uh, Temple Grandin, also still alive, who tells us what it's like to have autism from the inside. There uh, are many others, of course, and I, it was a matter of winnowing down the list because there were candidates, hundreds of candidates, really, of, of people who, who not just were the best at what they do, but who changed the culture, who changed history. So it was a matter of subtracting rather than adding and putting together this list. What are some common characteristics that all of these women share? Well, they were all passionate about what they believed. They, they had to overcome tremendous barriers, of, as I've said. Um, they were imaginative. Uh, some of them, especially the early ones, really had a mission to help people. And it started with helping somebody. And they had the imagination to scale that up to, hap to help many people, and in many cases, all of them. For example, Ethel Andrus, who founded AARP, um, began with, with one retired teacher who lived in a chicken coop, to Andrus's shock and horror, and, and she founded an organization that helps all old people and makes life um, interesting and wonderful for them when it used to be so grim. So how can we empower young women today? Knowledge is power, so that's where she did it comes in. Uh, I think if young people read about their forebears, the women who went before them and understood how to make change, that they will be inspired and carry this fight forward and to the real goal, which is true gender equality. Okay, and where can we find your book and go for some more info? Absolutely, you can find it anywhere. Try to buy it at an independent bookstore. There's a website, aarp.org slash she did it, and my own website, emilyarnoldmcculley.com. Okay, well, very interesting. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. All right, after the break, 